Okay, we're at a wash bay at the minute. This is uh, a wash bay at Enterprise. Oops, some of them are allowed to say that. This is uh, also where I'm <laughs> renting this van from. They've got uh, some basically some lights that don't work, so they've called me in. <laughs> Come down eight o'clock, they said. We'll be open, they said. Mm. Okay, being a wash bay, we've got to put a IP rated one. It's going to be uh, subject to a lot of well, power jets, really. So I'm going to put in an IP65 LED. Now, because of all that water and rusting, the actual fittings on this one now are rusted out, so I'm going to have to cut them out. get in the pack basically some stick this will be attached to the ceiling we're gonna have to sort of screw this into that metal up there you get your nice strip of LEDs you see that beautiful it's really warmed up a bit now so I've uh, get my hat off so I'm gonna put a 40 watt equivalent LED here which is good last this place for ages instead of messing about with them fluorescents they do give you they're old school and they give you a lot of trouble messing around with diffusers and tubes these things will last for years drill bit hopefully I've got one in the car now in my van I've got everything so I've marked out on the beams with green markers where I want my where I want my thingies to go got three clamps on on these they are actually chop blocks so it's just standard chop blocks in with the neutral CPC and uh, line conductor and you get your waterproof grommet at the top you can just clip two ends in first and just leave it around clamp up like that and this actually got a waterproof seal that's then clamping in and there we have it folks one waterproof IP65 rated LED
So yeah, so that's that little job done now. We're now going to go across to Plimstock in Plymouth and we're going to continue with our uh, kitchen refurb project. Let's get on. Time for some tooth porn.